2023 season and we've got all our new ties out at the moment. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about fairway woods uh, and basically I'm going to be going through different ranges but with Exio, Strixon which is part of the, that range of who are make them, uh, Callaway, Titleist and obviously TaylorMade. Uh, my name is William Noble, I'm the professional at St. Anne's Golf Club. So I've already fitted me myself for all these clubs so these all should be in and around the same with a few variations. The ball for me again is the most important thing so I've got a ball that helps me launch it a little bit higher but spins low to a point to allow me to get the flight that I'm looking for and distance. Three wood for me is all about, especially for off my second shots off the ferry, a little bit off the tee, is about getting it up in the air quickly and letting it basically go forward with as much distance as possible. It's not really a specific number I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to hit a long way, okay? But again, I have an idea how far I hit this. So here we go, three woods. This is the XEO, by the way, sorry. This one here has a fin on, it doesn't have a fin on top of it like the driver, but very easy to hit, very lightweight, stiff, slightly shorter than standard driver, uh, three wood, make it easy to hit off the ground. And let's see what happens, and this is all about straighter shots. Well, there you go, very, very straight. Launched a little low, smash factor is perfect, so it tells me the Shaft is very efficient, club head speed 95 miles an hour, ball speed 140, spin rate was 2,940, it's not too bad, that or above 3,000, didn't get all of it, but uh, carry was 223, so yeah, that's about where I am, about 220, 225 carry, and then run out, depending on conditions, about 246. Smash factor says perfect, launch angle a little low, 11.2, but not bad, I, and that's why I use this, by the way. So we're gonna try out, and the visual was very good for setting up, Next one is the new Strixon Mark II Z uh, ZX range. Uh, again, it has the similar look to the Exio. Uh, again, it should be a little bit more spinny, I think. A bit more weight in it, but again, I like to feel the club head a little bit with the fairway wood, like with the driver, I want it to be balanced. It's launched a little bit higher, because a bit more weight in it. Uh, Club head speed 93.4. Total uh, rollout, uh, sorry, ball speed 139. Spin was a little bit low for my liking, uh, which is 2,880. It really launches and, and drives through the wind, so it's unbelievable good for everyone. Similar to the one we had last year. Carries up to 2238, total 245. Smasher 149, which says is very efficient. It should be because I fitted myself. Launch angle's a little bit higher, nearly 13. So that's not a bad option for me. Okay, now we're going to go to the Titleist TSI Model 2, which I found was the best fit for me. Everything a little bit shorter than standard. This has a bit of a teardrop shape to it, which I'm not mad about. I like the square or toe at the end. I find it easier to square up. That's it. Ooh, there we go. But regardless of that, numbers are really good. Ball speed, club head speed's down a bit. Ball speed's 136. Spin's perfect. It's just over 3,000. So my carry's just a little bit down. 217, 218, but the run out 236. Smash factor's perfect, 150. And the launch angle's pretty perfect, 13. So yeah, really good options. The only thing is the visual for me. I don't like it. So if you don't like the look of something, it can, uh, you can find it hard to play with. Now the TaylorMade Stealth 2. Easier to hit than last year's model. That's it there. Still goes a long way, this baby. By the way, these are all um, 15 degree heads. There we go, get my feel for it. Yeah, nice looking head. Okay, launch perfectly. Smash factor perfect. Club head speed actually down a bit. Bit more draw bias. Now the reason for that, which I didn't mention when I set up to it, it looks a little bit towed in this head, so kind of doesn't suit my eye because that natural shape. Uh, ball speed was up 1411. Spin really good, 3560. Carry up to 223, total 239. Smash factors perfect, 150. Lanka angle 12.8, which is nearly 13. So yeah, good club for me. The only thing again is the visual. Now, the new Callaway Paradigm only because it's new, I want you to see the difference with it. Okay, the Rogue ST is quite nice, but uh, 
this is actually not it looks great to look down on this fairway compared to the driver i actually do like the look of this but i got, i know it's way too low spinning for me well that actually did it that time first hit today with it because i have tried to fit myself with it and i found it hard so ball, club head speed 91 ball speed 137 spins actually pretty good 3420 i wasn't getting that earlier uh, carry 217 total 234 smash factor perfect launch angle 13.6 so again as i said i've fitted myself for everything so i've got clubs now that i can hit uh, again i like the look of that one i just don't like the inconsistency with it i don't feel it suits my golf swing now i'm trying the ping 430 head very easy to hit easy to hit off the ground if you struggle hitting fairways off the ground ping is exceptionally easy cleveland uh, the callaway in the rogue st and a little bit and also the the taylor maids actually are quite good this year now that's a miss it'll be interesting to see what it does a little bit right but it's okay so again as i say 92.8 club head speed ball speed 138 spin 3570 carry 220 235 total smash factors perfect 150 and because i hit a little off the total launch angle was a little bit up 13.9 but very straight and very consistent but again for me it's just the visual and it's probably because i'm used to it the xeo or the strix are my go-to clubs so we'll go again launches down as i say which is perfect for here uh club head speed 97 142 balls spins a little low but it's okay carry 226 total fifth 250 smash track to 146 and launch angle a little low so uh for here links ground suits me perfect okay so update that really is you need to get fitted ball makes a difference you can see there i was pretty similar bar uh the shrix and and the exio just slightly lower launching but not bad and it is to, to the look and feel from there as well uh, my name's william noble if you're interested in doing any more fittings uh with me in regard to fairy woods or gapping uh, please contact me at st anne's golf club on